I want to turn to the auto sectors. We had some big news out this morning. General Motors announcing that it's suspending its dividend and share repurchase program. And this, of course, comes as the coronavirus outbreak has disrupted production for the auto giant. We have Emily McCormick looking into this story for us. And Emily, we talk about the impact that coronavirus has had not only on GM, but really across all automakers uh, since the start of the year. What do you think GM is doing or why do you think GM made this move? Is it all about preserving cash at this point? Well, preserving cash really is the main focus right now, Shauna, and that's more important to these automakers than mollifying their shareholders in the usual way, which would be by providing dividends and stock buybacks. So looking at the measures that we just saw announced for GM, these were conditions for the company to be able to amend and extend its $3.6 billion revolving credit facility by a year to April 22nd. So that's why they had to actually suspend their dividend and stop their stock buybacks in the first place. This is coming just after GM and its finance unit, GM Financial, had refinanced a near $2 billion, 364-day revolving credit agreement to April 2021. So with these moves in aggregate, it's clear that these are efforts to boost the balance sheet for GM as we've started to see that demand destruction for the auto industry in North America overall because of the coronavirus pandemic. And if we just look back at the numbers that we got for the first quarter out of GM, um, the company had already reported earlier this month a 7% sales decline in the U.S. in the first quarter alone, along with a 43% decline in deliveries in China for the first quarter. And that's really kind of giving you a picture of just the demand destruction that we've had over the course of the pandemic and the fact that that decline for the first quarter in the U.S. could actually steepen to something more along the lines of what we saw in China as the outbreak spread here during the second quarter. Emily, do we have any sense of a time frame for when not only GM, but a lot of these other uh, or some of the other U.S. auto giants like Ford and Fiat Chrysler, when they will likely restart production? So GM, Ford and Fiat Chrysler had all temporarily shuttered their North American auto production plants in mid-March. We don't know exactly when GM and Ford are going to restart production. We have Fiat Chrysler targeting an early May start date. At the same time, they are still all negotiating with the United Auto Workers uh, Union to figure out when that start date is actually going to take place. The UAW has come out and been opposed to an early May start date at this point, just because of some of the health precautions around the coronavirus pandemic in so many parts of the country. So we're still waiting on that specific date for GM, Ford, and we'll see whether Fiat Chrysler is able to hit that early May start date. All right, Emily McCormick, thanks so much for uh, bringing that to us. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.